Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll show you how to control just about anything for under 10 bucks with the Amazon Alexa. Alexa, turn on light one. Okay. Alexa, turn off light one. Okay. I'll show you where to get the parts in just a moment, but to get started, you're gonna need a Wemos D1 Mini microcontroller. This is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller you can pick up well under five bucks. As well as that, you're going to need a relay. I did a whole video on how to use these, so we'll cover that a little later. You can get one like this or one like this. This is a solid state relay. They'll both do the job. You'll need a power supply. Most people have a USB power supply kicking around the house, so just go ahead and plug it in. At the end of it all, you'll be able to use your Wemos D1 Mini to activate your relay by just saying, Alexa, turn on light one. Okay. And we get the LED there. So that's activating our output. Let's go ahead and show you how to get these and we'll do the code and tell you how to set it up. Super easy. If you like these style of projects, go ahead and click that thumbs up button down below as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of them coming up. To get started, you're going to need the Wemos D1 Mini. I put some links to Amazon down below, but if you're like me and you like getting them as cheap as possible, well, slide over to eBay. I did a whole video on how I buy these things on eBay, so check it out. You can pick up these Wemos D1 Minis for $3.48, heck of a deal, really good deal for these little Wi-Fi enabled boards. We're also going to need a relay. Here's some on eBay for 99 cents, as well linked from Amazon below, but it's fully optically isolated. This will work perfect with the Wemos D1 Mini. The relay allows us to fully control pretty much any on-off object we desire. I did a whole video on this on my YouTube channel. Check it out, it explains how a relay works and how to use it. Once you have your parts, it's super easy. We're going to need the FOMO library, the ESP library, which I'll link below. You're going to slide over here and you're going to need a few things from it. You're going to need, need the dependencies which are listed here. You're going to go ahead and go ahead, click these and then download them. You're going to download them as zip files. And then once you get both of those downloaded, you're going to add them in with the Arduino library manager. So under sketch, include library, all the way to the top is add zip library and just go ahead and add that in. Repeat for the second one. For the main ESP library this page you can click the downloads tab and then you can download the repo and re install it the same as we just did on the previous one by importing the library. Once you've done that under examples in your IDE you're now going to have the FOMO ESP basic example. Now, go ahead, what you want to do is just save it out right now. So save it as uh, somewhere else. Let's just do it to the desktop, desktop just like that. Now, go ahead to your desktop. On the desktop, we're going to edit credentials.h. Just with notepad is fine. This is where you define your SSID and password for your Wi-Fi. So put your uh, SSID, the Wi-Fi name of your on your Wi-Fi router, uh, your network connection there, and then put your password in there and save it out. And that's it. Now, from there, we can go ahead and modify the code to do what we like. Uh, we can actually add some code right in here. This is where it changes the LED state that you saw earlier on the, on the kitchen counter example. And we can make it do more things. We can also manipulate many different terminals uh, on the Wemos D1 Mini. But for now, if you wanted to just do a single light, you're all set. It's going to work right out of the box and it's going to be on pin two, which is the LED pin. You can go ahead and change that over to a different pin, but you just hook the control of your relay up to that. You can change the device names and you'll be all set. These are gonna show up when you boot this up, they're going to show up as available in your Amazon Alexa. To find them, you can use the Amazon Alexa app on your phone, or you can use their web-enabled interface, and here they are. These are the ones, the Wemo, they show up as a Wemo switch, and light one, two, three, and four. And they're already there. We can control them, do whatever we like with them. It's just that simple. 
I'd love to hear what you're building, throw a comment down below. If this helped you, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you've controlled with your uh, Amazon Alexa. It's an awesome little project, dirt cheap fun, and you don't have to buy these really expensive Wi-Fi enabled Internet of Things. You can just make your own. I'm Eric from the Make Me Lab, I'll see you next video.